There we go. Second time's a charm. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Two Tangle Skates. I'm Sue, also known as Crafty Knitter 7. Today we are Saturday, July 14th. It's written right in front of you. No, it's the 15th, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it's the 15th. I wrote the wrong date. Monday's the 17th. So we are July 15th, 2017. This is episode 208, and I would like to welcome current and new viewers. All I know is it's a day I didn't have to get up for work, and yet I still got up before my alarm would have woken me up. Oh. <laughs> eh. I'm Lynn, also known as Toll Baby, and apparently I get up early now. <laughs> you can find us on Ravelry, our Facebook, our blog at twotangledskeins.com. We're on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Etsy. Everywhere. Yes. I'm not sure I'll be on Etsy much longer, but there we are. So, you have a hoe? I have a hoe! I didn't quite make it to a foe. I tried. I tried really, really hard. <sighs> see the hole? Do you see the hole? You can, you see, can see right through the sock. Because I it happened on both sides. I hate afterthought heels. You liked <sighs> the concept of the sock. I like the concept of the pattern. I did not like the execution of the pattern at all. Um, I found knitting the leg, like the double leg, was interminably long. I have a tendency to see pieces of the sock as milestones. There so was no milestone. The cuff is one milestone. Well, in this case, the cuff was a milestone. Yes. I'll put this down. The cuff is usually a milestone. The leg is a milestone. For me, it's a very short milestone because I do short legs. The heel is a milestone. The gusset is a milestone. Then I've have this like I only have this much of the foot to do when I get to that point, and then the toe. I didn't have that on this pattern, and it frustrated the heck out of me. And well, I ended up with a really big hole in my heels. I'm gonna have to sew those shut. <laughs> so, um, if you like afterthought heels and you don't mind picking up stitches, you will love this pattern. I wanted to gouge my eyes out. I'll that's why they I... haven't been finished yet. I'll tell you when I get there. I, this is why they have not been finished yet. I, it's never taken me this long to knit a pair of socks except Rob's because his are really boring. But, because his are also, well, it's just his milestones take a lot longer to achieve because he likes full leg socks, so they have to be like this long. Which makes me want to stab him with pointy things. But I love them anyway. And it's because his are ribbed all the way down, so there's no milestone where you get to end the ribbing and just knit. <laughs> Yeah, same so, as my husband's there. It's ribbing. I am not thrilled <laughs> with these socks, but I'm sure eventually, and I'm not sure about the little nubbies on either side of it, because my, you know, my kitchener always ends up like, look at this. I'm trying to think of what that reminds me of. There was, I, it's either a cartoon character or a comic character that had like sticky out eyes on either side of his Invader Zim. The alien guy from Invader Zim with the, the eyeballs and the big stick sure. head. Um, somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody better know what I'm talking about because I swear I'm not crazy. Well, I am, but not for this. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure how this is going to feel on my foot. <laughs> we'll see. I haven't tried it on yet because I can't reach my foot. Um, I can't reach my right foot anyway. I suppose I could try it on my left foot. Uh, but anyway, this is the Afterthought Everything Socks by Erica Kempf Broughton. Um, the blue is Juliana's Fiber Lucid Dreams in the Luna colorway, which I love. And the coral is an unknown. It just goes so well, like I've said in the past. It's really scritchy and it's not fun in it with. It's peeled my fingers again. <laughs> Actually, it peeled my thumb. Oh. My thumb and my forefinger are completely peeled, which happens when I knit with rough yarns. There we are. Um, here's the second one. I'm almost done. Almost done. Which is a good thing. Hmm. Because that's how much yarn I have left. <laughs> I think you're, like, you're playing yarn chicken. I'll do that over here. So Definitely yarn chicken. I'm playing yarn chicken, but I do have more of this at home, so I'm not concerned. If I run out, I'll just break into the second little ball so that she wound for me. So it's not a big deal. It was some leftover stuff that was given to me by a friend years ago. 
And that's where we are. I don't think I'll knit them again. Personally. Hey, because everybody has I like my milestones. Yeah. But <laughs> I have, need I need that during a sock. You have to try like, something to yeah. figure out if it was, it's a brilliant concept, and I'm sure, I'm sure lots of people will enjoy knitting it. I know uh, the girls on Espace Rico love this pattern because they That's just right, zoom the through idea. the foot. <laughs> I, I cannot zoom through interminable knitting with no anything else, which is why when I knit flax, um, flax has this garter panel down the sleeves. I add it under the sleeves as well down the body because otherwise I'd want to shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like boring patterns. I don't like boring patterns. So I found this one somewhat boring, and the thought the foot looks really long to me. I don't know. I'll have to try it on and see, but I don't think this will be my favorite pair of socks, unfortunately. And that is living in my Art by Anna farm animals bag, and I have been using my little flannel sushis. I say it funny just because it amuses her. Mm -hmm. So that's what I that's what I hoed. Okay. What are you whipping? <laughs> Besides you? Besides me. Well, I'm not overly proud of myself because I haven't even woven any ends. That's mainly because I misplaced my look at this all these ends. Oh. That's okay. I'll fix it because I found a darning needle. <laughs> I misplaced my little chibi thing full of darning needles. I added two squares. That's all. I'm not even done row seven. <laughs> You're almost there. I'm almost there. I have one square left on row seven, and then I have two rows left in it, which is good because my cousin's not due till November. That's working. Yeah. And now I know she's expecting a girl. Oh. I promised her I would not knit all the pink things. That's um, not all the pink things. She's not into pink. She doesn't mind a little bit of pink, like this is fine, but her favorite color is purple, so I'm going to have to go through my stash. I've already got a really pretty lilac purple that I'm mm -hmm. going to try to make a teddy bear or some other kind of stuffed toy out of, mm -hmm. but I'm going to have to go through my stash and see what I've got. So Ooh. that doesn't have a pattern. They're just mitered squares, and uh, it's worsted weight yarn, all acrylics, with the exception, I think, of this, uh, nope, this one. I think this might be wool. And uh, I'm knitting it on size 4.5 millimeters, which is US 7, and I'm using my lovely um, Marbles DPNs from Knitter's Pride that the lovely Stephanie at Stitchcraft Marketing sent me. And that doesn't live in anything, because the bin of yarn is like this big <laughs> of scraps, so it just sits on a chair in my living room. Now, this looked somewhat pathetic last week, and this is the other reason I was kicking myself for leaving my purse in the car, because the ball band was in my purse. I brought it home from work yesterday. Oh. Because I had been working, I, well, I had meant to work on this at work. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but this lovely stuff. And the colors are weird, because they don't, it's not a repeating color sequence. Oh. Yeah. Which totally weirded me out, but... It's pretty anyway. I got 10 rows done, which was my goal this morning. <laughs> I got 10 rows done this morning. I cast on last week and didn't touch it again. Well, that's not true. I, I think I knit three rows and then didn't touch it again. But uh, this morning I picked it up and I wanted to get to row 10. So I got to row 10. You can see the little folds now, the little origami folds where the, uh, the decreases are. <laughs> they look like little ears. I need to try one of those. This is my oh. sixth or seventh or something. It's your go-to pattern besides the flax. I knit a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I've made some from dishcloth cotton scraps. I've made some that fit three-year-olds. I've made oh. some for newborns. My nephew, they're having another boy. And they're due in November, so I probably have time to whip one out. Yes, because the pattern is 100 lines. And uh, what weight are you using? Fingering? I'm using fingering and size 3 needles, okay. which are 2.75 millimeters. Yeah, 2.75 millimeters, which is US 3. I thought that was US 2. 
275 is a US 2. I misread the thingy. So I'm using a US 2, which seems a lot thicker than my... Do you need a needle gauge? Maybe, yeah, because that doesn't look right. Excuse me. Yeah. I, I was looking at a needle gauge that didn't have any actual printing on it. Whoa, it yeah, don't do that. No. Okay. Yeah, it's a 3.25 millimeter, which is US 3. I thought that seemed a little bit weird. It couldn't be as small as a 2.75 because it's way bigger than my sock needles. Sorry, it's a 3.25 millimeter, which is a US 3. Okay. And I don't know if you can see all the nifty colors in there, but they are kind of crazy. And it being garter stitch, it's going to look different on either side. And this is the Baby Surprise Jacket by Elizabeth Zimmerman. I bought it as a single pattern when Schoolhouse Press first released it as a single pattern. And I love it. Um, it, uh, sorry, I'm really not with it right now. It's made out of Borgo de Pazzi Magic Kete. K-E-T-T-E. -E. I thought it was Kettle at first because that made sense to me. But no, it's K-E-T-T-E. -E. And it's the Plumes colorway. I'm assuming it refers to peacocks because it has very peacocky lake colors in it. Peacocky. Mm -hmm. I find the word hockey in everything, so. Uh, anyway, that's all I'm working on. That's it. My turn. I'm boring. Well. Oh, and it, sorry. It lives in my Anne of Green Gables bag. Because I was super jealous last week when she, Sue showed hers and I had meant to put my project in there. And I've actually... But I had not. I'm not knitting on the project that's in that bag. So I got some progress on my So Faded sweater. Did you? I did. How much? Oh, look at that! Not yeah, much more. Yeah, don't drop any stitches. I'm just noticing this. Yeah, the, the pooling? Yeah. It's kind of awesome. Um, so yes, I got that. So I'm past where you're doing one uh, skein, uh, one row of each color. So I've probably got about, yeah, another inch or so to go. And that's the So Faded by Andrea Mowry, who's Drea Renee Knits. And it's being knit out of Three Irish Girls Glen Haven Cashmerino Fingering in the Fresh Earth colorway, Sun Valley Fibers um, in the Forest colorway. And you forgot to add the fourth. The third I did. Color. And I'm using the next, I uh, will put it in the show notes. It is um, Violet Yarn Company. I think I have the name of it in my, the colorway name in my stash on Ravelry, so I will add that. It reminds me of oak leaves. But, I'm trying to get that. I just want to show the skein. It's just like, oh, super pretty. Look at that. It makes me think of oak leaves. And it's kind of a gray purple that you're seeing. It's kind of awesome. The instant pot's ready. Oh, he's making a starter for his It just beer. reached pressure. That's my hubby. It's his birthday tomorrow. I could hear the beeping from the kitchen. <laughs> and he's making a starter, a yeast starter for a beer he's making. I feel bad now. I didn't buy cake for him. He's getting a Guinness cake with cream cheese frosting. Actual Guinness beer in the cake. So, and you know, I had to go buy a can of Guinness, so I had to buy a four pack. And all I could hear last night was... Whoosh, I heard that. Did he leave you one? I have. I took one first. He made me take one first. And then I, it's like half an hour later, I'm like, I heard that. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but he enjoyed it. It's a, it's a low alcohol beer. Yeah, because so. he doesn't really do a stout, does he? Not anymore. He hasn't done one in a while. But uh, anyways. Being the guy for beer. So. Yeah. This is being knit on 3.75 millimeters, which is a US 5, and these are my Carbons Interchangeable set from Stephanie from Stitchcraft Marketing, because she's awesome. And this is in one of my favorite bags right now. It's Emerald Fibers, with the B on it. She had that in her shop, and I, when I, I messaged her and said, are you gonna be getting any more of that? And she said yes, and I was very happy. But even better than the bees, that's the inside. I absolutely Did love it. Did you see the bags that somebody posted in our Facebook group this morning? Maybe. I'm trying to ignore the bags. Because Stitches is, what, two weeks away? Yes. And that, those fabrics were amazing. 
Stitches is a couple weeks away, and I have yarn in the mail for myself. And I, I have a surprise coming for the girls. That's all I'm going to say. Put on those British lingerie sites again. Not I me. have. <laughs> she didn't mean those girls. But I had to go there. Yes. Um, <laughs> so I got some progress done on my afterthought, Everything Socks. I got a good, well, oh, I got a good amount done. You can see the stitch marker down there. And this is uh, Nomadic Yarns. Is that her name? Yes. Okay. Nomadic Yarns, and this is the Get Lucky colorway on her Twisty Sock, which is 400 yards, 80-20 Superwash Merino Nylon. I was listening to that on the way here. Were you? Get Lucky. Oh. And this is in a bag that my swap partner in the um, Shorty Socks swap in the Bookish Stitcher group sent me. Isn't it nice? He's pearly. Yeah, they didn't have you pegged at all. Nope. Well, it was a swap where there wasn't really any questions, so I sent her a questionnaire, and she sent me back, and then we, we figured it out. You know, she knew me. She bought me a big bag of M&Ms. And the last thing that I got a tiny bit of progress on, and I want to try and show this up close. Can you see the stitch marker or the progress keeper? Progress. Keeper. Progress keeper. That's from Tanya. So I only picked this up. Oh, shoot. You keep hitting the microphone. <laughs> I only picked this up like yesterday or the day before. So this <clears throat> is my Lumberjack cardigan by Marzena Kolachek. Kolachek, yeah. Kolachek. I think. Because the person's name's not on the pattern, which really bothered me. I'm not very good with the Polish slash Romanian slash yeah. Eastern European sort of So names. it's supposed to be a pullover. But I'm going to be making it into a cardigan, and Lynn figured it out it's pretty simple to do, so. I, I did? Or Selma did? No, you did. You told me where to stop knitting, or where n not to join in the round. Used to me. Because she said, don't join in the round, and then oh, when, right. you, when you do... Oh, right. God, that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. what I started this in November, then? so <laughs> that's, that's Hubby's sweater that's going to be finished for Christmas. I'm working on my So Faded for Rhinebeck, which it should happen. And that is being knit out of Valley Yarn Superwash DK in the light gray on 3.5 millimeters and 4 millimeters, which is a US 4 and 6. She's got the microphone here. There's a box here. There's my drink. And she's trying to read the show notes around all this stuff. It's okay. <laughs> and it's being held in a bag that I made for myself. Oh, I like the other side better. It's got more green. I really like that bag. That was one of the fabric, uh, the, the furniture reupholstery fabrics, wasn't it? Yeah, I have more. Do you need a bag out of this? No. Okay. I don't need anything. Do you want? <laughs> Why is it beeping again? I don't know what he's doing. I don't ask questions. So that's all the whips. I guess the next part is me, as usual. So knit-alongs going on. We have the 2017 Travel the World by Design Cal in our group. We are in the third quarter, and the country is... Country, I did it again. Continent. I changed it when I did the show notes last week. And the continent is North America. But if you knit a pattern by a Canadian, there will be a special prize draw for that. So everybody who's knit a Canadian pattern will go into a draw, and we will give you something for special. For a special Canadian pattern. Mm -hmm. Or Canadian prize. Prize, could yeah. Brown Bag Sock Club is in the third quarter, and going pretty well. I may actually complete a pair of socks this year. The pal cow in the... Penny, um, I'm not. <laughs> actually, yeah, no. We love Penny. <laughs> um, the <coughs> pal cow in the Actually Knitting pod Podcast group is going on until the 1st of September. My group, the Tangled Skein, uh, sorry, my shop, the Tangled, Tangled Skein CA, um, is a sponsor and there's a, there's a coupon code that I'll mention later. And then there's, for those of you doing Stash Dash, that's gone and in, going until August 20th, and there's a link in the show notes if you want to know what the rules are. Yeah, I haven't finished a damn thing since it started. I mean, I'm hoping to finish this, but it is what it is. So you have Stash. I have Stash. You asked me that in the middle of a decrease. I did, because that's what mm -hmm. I do. Stash that she forgot to bring last week. Yes, I, it's... 
It's because Rob I brought it with him a couple of weeks ago, and I forgot to bring it when we recorded because I had put it away. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't immediately visible, so I wasn't thinking about it anymore. She but wanted the Wonder Woman mini set from the makers, but there was none left, so I gave her, I bought her something else. So. And do you think she'll do those again? I don't know. I'm hoping. She usually doesn't repeat her mini sets. No. Um, but these are super cool, and you actually get one of these. She got me the BLT mini bundle. Now, because there's two of toast, because, of course, the BLT has toast, bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, and more toast. Oh! <laughs> so there are two toast. That is so cool. So there you go. Oh, and because colors. you only put a sprinkling of, of mayonnaise, of, like, you only put it's a thin like it's half the size of the other ones. So <laughs> I don't even know if that's, it should be enough for uh, a mini for me. But we'll Thank see. You. It's and so the sticker pretty. On the so. <laughs> there we go. Now I have an open face BLT. <sighs> that Mid- close. Yes, you were that <laughs> close. <laughs> uh, so what else is going on? I think it's just coupon codes and then oh we're done. Oh my lord. This is going to be the shortest podcast we have ever done. I think so. <coughs> uh and then, mm. we can, then we can eat our cake. That's still pretty. What is? Oh, have you changed your mind? No. Lynn brought because cake. We have cake. We, we like, both had a poopy week. I'm like, why did you bring cake? She's like, poopy week. Give me a hug. We've both had a crappy week, so cake was called for. Yeah. And Uber. it's really, really good cake. Uber crappy. So, so. Cake. We love you, but go away because there's cake. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I forgot to mention last week that Open Skies Yarn gave us a coupon code as well as the giveaway minis. But anyways, I put it in the thread, like, Sunday. But it's 10% off until July 31st, and it's Tangled 1-0. That's why she said to change it, because you have the wrong amount there and the wrong code. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what the right one is? I, I don't have it. my phone. It's okay. So. I, I changed it in the in the in the group. So okay. So reach. Woolridge Designs has fifteen percent off until August thirty first, and the code is the word to Tangled one five. Mm-hmm. The Tangled Skein CA has twenty percent off until September first for the Pal Cal, and the code is Pal Cal twenty seventeen. Ginger Snap That has fifteen percent off until the end of the year, and the code is the word Tangled one five. Annie Pearl has 15% off until the end of the year. The code is Tangled15. Geektastic Fibers has 15% off until the end of the year, and the code is the number two Tangled. Frog Peak Creations has 15% off until the end of the year, and the code is the number two Tangled2017. Yes. So the code is different from what we said last week, and so is the amount. Yes. Because we said 10% last week, and mm-hmm. it's, she raised it to 15 a little yep. while ago. And extended it. Bags by Awesome Granny has 10% off, no expiry date, and the code is number 2TS10. And Six Munchkin Stitching has 10% off ongoing, and it's 2 Tangled 10. She loves it. I never have to say it. No. Nope. <laughs> I will skip over Awesome Grannies to get to that one if you have to say it. So, yeah, this is like 23 minutes. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, that's what happens when you when we do an episode every week and one of us hasn't been knitting. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Because I swear all the knitting that I just showed you got done this morning. Yeah, because, you know, it's a week later and we're back. So we're trying to make it work. That really doesn't taste right. I made a face when I first tasted this it. And the girl be... was it's supposed to be Diet Coke. Oh. But it tastes orangey. Like it tastes like there's orange soda in it. <laughs> and it tastes sugary. But not Coke. as sugary as Coke. So I'm thinking there might be orange drink in it too. Which happens sometimes with those machines. But like at, when, when she gave it to me and I took a sip and I made a face, she's like, is it alright? I'm like, yeah, it just tastes like orange. And she looked at me like worried. And I was like, eh, happens. And I drove away. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I ran out of Coke this morning. That's fine. Mm. So that, that's it. That's it. It's going to upload fairly quickly. Ta-da! Done! 
So, happy <laughs> knitting, everybody. I hope you have nice weather like we do. It's actually very dry and very hot outside today. And, uh... What? I'm dry in my house. <laughs> it seems dry here. It was raining when I woke up. It, and it was extremely humid. It was raining when Sean woke up to chase the, <coughs> chase the cat away from the bedroom because it wasn't 6 o'clock yet. Little bugger. He likes to be fed. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, still beeping going on. I don't know what he's doing out there. Eh. And it's his birthday tomorrow, and he bought a brisket. And I am making a Guinness cake with cream cheese frosting for him. So, yeah, I have to have my oven on. Just invite myself over for dinner. <laughs> you're more than welcome. We have dinner at my mom's on Sundays. But you're more than welcome. So, <laughs> we'll stop rambling, and we will see you all next week. Because we have cake to eat. We do. Bye.